What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I don't often do makeup tutorials, it's a little outside of my element. I am a self-taught makeup enthusiast, I don't know if I would always call myself an artist. Sometimes I feel like one, sometimes I don't, not gonna lie. But when I posted a picture of a look very similar to this on my Instagram, I had quite a few of you request a tutorial on the look. So here I am today fulfilling that request for you. I do use the new palette from Dose of Colors, this is the one in the shade blushing berries oh my goodness can I just say this palette is incredible and you'll see as I'm going through all of the blending these shadows basically blend themselves there's not a lot that you really need to do it's incredible. I also used a couple of colors from the Natasha Denona Lila palette, nothing too crazy. I just used this light purple right over here and this shimmer or metallic color right over here. You can use any sort of shimmers that have a bit of a mauve undertone to it. It doesn't have to be the Natasha Denona one, but that's the one that I had closest to me, so I grabbed it. Since I'm playing with a lot of berry tones and mauve tones, a lot of purples, especially as of late, I've been loving, loving those colors. I thought I would attach a giveaway to this video to help you recreate a look very similar to this one. What I'm giving away is a Morphe palette. This is the Night Master palette. It was part of their holiday collection. I picked one up for myself, but I also happened to pick one up for you. To enter this giveaway, it's really easy. All you gotta do is click a link in the description box below, follow a couple of steps, and poof, you are entered. Good luck to everybody who enters, and I hope you'll get some good use out of this palette. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So without any further ado, let's jump into this eye makeup tutorial. First things first, we are going to take Berry Chic on a MAC 224 blending brush and we are going to put that into the crease and this is going to act as our transition color. Now this is super pigmented so take your time building the color up and just go back and forth in windshield wiper motions and what I like to do is use small little circles to really blow out the color. Next I'm going to take Roseberry on the same brush and I'm going to intensify the crease just a little bit more. But as I started doing this I realized I needed a brush that was going to be just a little more precise. So I switched over to a Morphe brush. This Morphe brush has more of a pointed tip to it so I could really get into my crease with the, what color was that? That was the Roseberry color so I could really intensify it. I now take the Berry Pop color, that's the middle color right over there, and this is the one that I'm going to use all over my eyelid. I'm going to start very carefully from my inner corner, and I'm going to work my way to the outer corner of my eye, and I'm going to go just past the midway point of my eye. Now I'm going to take mixed berries onto the same brush, I'm just going to flip the brush around essentially, and I'm going to start packing this color onto the outer corner of my eye. And I'm trying to be as precise as I can here. I want to cover up any lid space that was left bare. Once I've done that, I'm going to take a small, more precise brush and I'm going to go in there and really blend out that color. I don't want to have any harsh lines and at this point I'm trying to draw more of a triangle on the outer corner of my eye to really give it a nice winged out look and I'm also taking that color into my crease. After all of that blending, I wanted to go back into Berry Pop and just re-intensify the lid color that I had going on. And after I've done that, I'm going to go into my Natasha Denona palette. This is the new Lila palette. And I'm going to take Per Pure, <laughs> what a crazy name, and I'm going to put that all over my lid just to give it a really nice sheen. And I absolutely love the way this color looks. It's so stunning. See? Very pretty. <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> now I'm going into mixed berries and I'm going to take an angled brush and just stamp this on my lower lash line. I'm going to try and get this color as close to my lash line as possible. 
and taking a combination of berry chic and roseberry on a small pencil brush I'm going to use those colors to now blend out my lower lash line and just blow it out a little bit more don't be afraid to go a little bit lower it's still going to look good taking any brown coal pencil line your waterline and then move on to your eyeliner I'm using my Tom Ford eye defining pen I absolutely love this it's a great liquid liner that gives you precision and I'm just lining my lid mostly because I want to add false lashes quickly add some mascara to your lashes and I love this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. It's so pretty. Just before we add false lashes, we're gonna dip back into that Natasha Denona palette and we're gonna take Junot, what a fancy name for that color. <laughs> we're gonna highlight the inner corner of our eye as well as our brow bone, add some false lashes, and we're good to go.